class welcome back again today's lesson is about molecular kinetic energy and the rms speed of a molecule this is class by raj teaching for physics semester 1 in reference to oxford fajar for part 1 for molecular kinetic energy we are going to state and use the relationship between Boltzmann constant and a molar gas constant and we're going to derive and use the expression for the mean translation kinetic energy of a molecule. Okay class, today I'm going to teach you 9.3 molecular kinetic energy. I'm going to teach you all about kinetic energy that is inside a gas, that's in a gas. Okay, the book says M is the mass of one mole. M is the mass of one mole. Okay, Vm is the volume of one mole. So therefore, the density is equal to mass over uh, Vm. Okay, mass of one mole divided by the volume of one mole. Okay, so now we're going to prove the formula of kinetic energy where your learning outcome wants you to derive and use the expression for the mean translation kinetic energy of a molecule. So today's uh, class objective is we want to derive the mean translation kinetic energy of a molecule. Okay? Alright? So let's start with this. Let's start with this. Alright. From the ideal gas law class, from The ideal gas law, we know PV equals to nRT, correct? And then, ideal gas law for one mole. Will be PVM equals to RT. We substitute N as 1 and then V is the volume of one mole. So, we get PVM equals to RT. From the pressure of the gas, we know P equals to 1 over 3 rho mean square speed. Okay? Then we substitute 1 over 3. We know the density of a mole. Okay? Density of a mole, of 1 mole, will be capital M over Vm mean square speed okay then what we do this is number one all right we substitute number one inside this formula which p is actually equals to rt over vm one over three m vm over mean square speed and then we get RT equals to 1 over 3 capital M mean square speed. Which is 3RT equals to M mean square speed. Okay. Mean translation kinetic energy. Is actually kinetic energy inside the gas. We know the formula of a kinetic energy is equals to is equals to what class? Half m c square or half m v square. Correct? Half m v square. So translation is actually referring to motion which I will teach you more on the degree of freedom. So, mean translation kinetic energy is actually equals to the formula half m mean square speed for a mole. Okay? For one mole. This is a formula for one mole. Okay? So, from this formula, from this, uh, they say this is number 2. From 2, okay, you divide by half. 
So we get 3RT divided by 2 equals to half M mean square speed. So from here we notice that mean translation kinetic energy for one mole equals to which is half m mean square speed which is equals to 3 over 2 r t so this is the formula for one mole okay all right next if we want to find mean translation kinetic energy for of the gas molecule okay so what do we get is we know m capital m is equals to n a times with small m okay we take this we substitute inside here so we get 3 r t over 2 equals to half n a small m mean square speed okay all right we bring n a there we bring n a there so we get 3 r t over 2 n a equals to half m mean square speed so who is this this is mean translation kinetic energy of the gas molecule so 1 over 2 m mean square speed equals to 3 over 2 r over n a r over n a is equals to boltzmann constant which is a small k and a capital t where t will be an absolute temperature so the formula for mean translation kinetic energy of the gas molecule will be 1 over 2 m mean square speed equals to 3 over 2 kt so new formula will be boltzmann constant r over n a okay so please differentiate between these two formula this one and this one they are two different things this is for one mole this is for gas molecule all right let's look at the textbook okay let's look at the textbook because now i, I said uh, density equals to m over vm so 1 over 3 rho mean square speed they substitute they substitute rho with m over vm okay and then they substitute all this formula inside they substitute all this formula inside and then they get this formula 1 over 3 nmrt and then the most important thing is mean translation kinetic energy of the gas molecule is mean translation of kinetic energy of the gas molecule is 3 over 2 kt who is k k is called as boltzmann constant which is the value of 1.38 times 10 to the power of negative 23 okay all right so when we already got this formula now let's look at this let's look at this we notice that mean translation kinetic energy is proportional to the temperature okay mean trans uh, mean mean translation kinetic energy is proportional to the temperature okay so you notice or not the book says mean translation kinetic energy mean translation kinetic energy of a gas molecule yeah so half m mean square speed is proportional to temperature 
where temperature is called as absolute. Absolute temperature means must be in Kelvin. Okay. Now, here, here, CRMS, root mean square speed. So, we know mean square speed is directly proportional to temperature. Correct? Directly proportional to temperature. Okay? So, if I root this, okay? So, this will become root mean square speed. So, CRMS, that means I also have to root temperature. So, CRMS is directly proportional to temperature, sorry, root temperature. Temperature square root. Okay, so that's why it says CRMS is proportional to square root of temperature. Okay, so that is the uh, molecular kinetic energy. So, here it asks us to derive... So, I managed to derive the uh, molecular, kinetic, uh, molecular kinetic energy, which is the mean translation kinetic energy of the gas molecule. Okay, you check out here class, you will notice molecule is half small m, mean square speed, 3 over 2 kT. If it's for 1 mole, is m, capital M, 3 over 2 RT, and K is equals to... R, small k, yeah, equals to N, A, where it is called as Boltzmann constant and its value is 1.38 times 10 to the power of negative 23. All right. Thank you, class. For part two of our learning outcome is we're going to calculate the RMS speed of a molecule. We're going to sketch the molecule speed distribution graph and explain the shape of the graph. And we're also going to predict the variation of a molecular speed distribution with temperature. Okay, class. Today, I'm going to teach you 9.4, the RMS speed of molecules. All right. Okay, now let's assume there is a gas in a container. In the gas, uh, in the container, there is N molecule. So, I am just going to show example of four molecules here. Moving with the speed of C1. One is moving with the speed of C2. One is moving with the speed of C3. And one is Cn. Mean speed. Okay, quantity is speed, operation is, mathematical operation is mean. So, the symbol will be speed mean. So, how do we find mean speed? Is we take C1, C2 plus C3 plus Cn divided by the total number of molecules. Then we have mean square speed. Okay. Speed. Operate quantity is speed. Mathematical operation first is square. Then it is mean. So mean square speed. So how do we do that? C1 square plus C2 square plus C3 square plus Cn square divided by total number of molecules. Okay. Next, root mean square speed. Quantity is speed. Operation, maths operation first is square, mean, then last will be root, which will be root mean square speed or in other words, we call it CRMS. Okay, so you must uh, know these three words class, mean speed, mean square speed and root mean square speed. So root mean square speed will be... C1 
one square plus c two square plus c three square c n square divided by the total number of gas molecule. So this will be the formula for root mean square speed. Okay. So if you look at the textbook under the R M S speed of molecule, molecule in the gas are in random motion, moving with different speed. The speed of the molecules are different because of the elastic collision between molecules. All right. So if there are n molecules in a gas moving with the speed of c one, c two, c three, and c n, then the root mean square speed of the gas molecule is this. So please make sure you know how to uh, differentiate between these three things. Okay. All right. Okay. Now let's go to the next one: molecular speed distribution. Okay, I'm finding for my. All right, molecular speed distribution. Okay, the molecule in a gas moves with a different speed. The speed of a molecule changes after collision with another molecule. Okay, now this is a very important keyword. The total kinetic energy of the gas molecule remain constant because the collision are elastic. Okay. Now, the molecular speed distribution is illustrated in a graph of the number of molecule with a certain speed against the speed. Okay, so this is called as a molecular speed distribution graph. Is a graph of number of molecule. With speed, okay. So it will look like this. The graph will look like this. Okay. The highest peak of the graph, if you look at this, the highest peak, which I'm going to draw here, the graph. At temperature T one. Okay. At the peak, this is called the speed at the peak. This is speed, yeah. This is speed. This is number of molecule. This speed here is called as V naught. Okay, V naught stands for most most probable speed. Most probable speed. Okay, the next line. This will be V mean. Okay, that means it will be the average speed. Okay, and the next line will be the V R M S, root mean square speed, exactly like this. Okay, all right. Now, that means from this graph we know that v naught is smaller than v min. Is smaller than v r m s. Okay. Now, area under the graph. Okay, area under the graph. Represent total number of molecule in the gas. Okay. Now, what happens if we increase the temperature? Now the moment we increase the temperature, okay, you increase the temperature. I'm going to write it with blue pen. You increase the temperature. What happens is root mean square speed will increase. Okay, how? 
is because from the mean translation kinetic energy correct you increase the temperature you increase mean square speed that means you increase your root mean square speed okay all right now so if you increase root mean square speed that means you increase vrms correct you increase vrms you increase vm you increase the most probable speed so that means all these three speed will increase when they increase the graph will shift to the right it will shift to the side so that's why you have the line like this because it shifted when temperature increased from t1 it became t2 where t2 is greater than t1 so the first graph was here so it has shifted to the right and not only it has shifted to the right it has also lower its peak First, the peak is N1. Now, it has gone to N2. So, it has lower its peak. Okay. But, area under the graph remain constant. This area and this area are the same. So, area under the graph are constant. The only thing when temperature increase, all the V will increase, shift to the right and the peak decreases that means the number of molecule which has the most probable speed and mean speed and vrms speed will decrease okay so that is what about this molecular speed distribution okay because you see in the learning outcome they ask you to sketch the molecular speed distribution graph and explain the shape of the graph and predict the variation of molecular speed distribution with temperature so i've already done this Three actually so this two is about here okay so let's see what the book has to say when the temperature of the gas one is t1 the speed v naught for the peak of the curve is known as the most probable speed the most probable speed is the speed which is the largest number of molecule. That means V mode lah in your in your maths you know is mode right? Most probable speed. Then the mean speed we have mean speed. Okay. Then we have root mean square speed. Okay. And then it says that V naught is less than V m is less than V r m s. Okay. The area under the curve equals the total number of gas molecules. So, this is very, very important. The area under the curve equals to the total number of gas in the molecule. Okay. When the temperature of the gas increase to T2. Okay. What happens? Temperature of the gas increase. T2 increase. Okay. According to the kinetic theory of gases. The RMS speed increases. Okay. RMS speed increases. Alright. Root means square speed increases. Or you can say VRMS speed. Okay. I already told you this now how I connect this between temperature and VRMS. Therefore, the mean speed and the most probable speed also increases. Okay mean speed and the most probable speed also increases the speed distribution graph and the temperature of the gas is t2 change to the curves all right this one is change to the curve one peak is lower what happened when temperature increases the molecular speed distribution uh, graph the peak is lower first it was n then it became lower n2 okay the value of V0, Vm and Vrms are higher. Point number 2. How? Because it has from here, it has shift to here. So here the value of the speed is higher. You see, V0 is higher. Okay? So it's higher. Alright, next. The area under the curve. Ah, okay, this one. The area under the curve for V greater than V naught 
for T2 is greater than the corresponding area at T1. This means that the temperature increases the number of gas molecule with speeds greater than the most probable speed increases. Okay, what does this trying to say class? Okay, now, this is most probable speed. Okay, I'm going to take a different color pen, highlight. Okay, here. The area under the graph for this temperature T2 and also for the area under this graph with the temperature of T1. Okay, from the most probable speed will increase. From T1 to T2, the area under this graph will increase. Even though the number of gas molecule okay, will remain constant. That means uh, when the temperature increases, the gas molecule that have the uh, the, the gas molecule that have the speed that is greater than the most probable speed also will increase. Okay, so this will be area under here with this speed will increase compared to the T1. Okay, so that's why it says here. The area under the curve for T1, T2 are equal. Uh, are equal. Because the number of the gas molecule in the gas remain, number of molecule in the gas remain unchanged. So it's trying to say that even though you increase the temperature, the number of molecule in the gas is still remain the same. But as you increase, the molecule will have more greater, more molecules will have speed which is more greater than the most probable speed. Okay, so here the number will increase compared to that. Okay, alright, so that is all for class, molecular speed distribution. Homework will come later, alright. So I hope you understand the class. If you don't understand, you can WhatsApp to me. Alright, thank you class.